Assalamu alaikum and welcome dear students to our second part of the lesson about uh, stress placement in compound words. In compound words we said a compound word is a combination of two or more words which come together right, to create a new word with a new meaning. With a new meaning but very often we said that the compound word consists of two parts or two elements very often okay usually good now also we said that concerning the stress position right in these uh, uh, compound words we uh, may place our stress on the first part or on the second part or element of these compound words of course depending on the grammatical uh, category and uh, okay function and structure of this uh, compound word. Today we'll start to highlight the cases, all right, uh, where we should uh, put stress on the first part of the compound word. Clear? Where we must uh, stress the first element or the first part of the compound word. Now here we have two major cases. Two major cases. The first one represents when <coughs> the compound word, right, uh, is composed of what? A noun plus noun or a gerund plus noun. Here we have the case of a compound noun. Clear? Compound noun, right, or compound word which consists of noun plus noun or gerund plus noun. Now let's illustrate for the first. Uh, structure noun plus noun. So here we can mention many many examples. Uh, for example, we have uh, these uh, hyphenated compound nouns. Okay, like rock, climber. So we stress rock. Home builder. We stress home. Right. Now for open compounds or noun compounds air conditioner we stress first part always air credit card we stress credit always the first element in this compound noun also uh, for closed compounds noun compounds we can mention deadline we stress dead the first part clear uh, and also airplane so Air receives the primary stress here. Clear. Air, plane, and of course second parts here receive secondary stress. Clear. Secondary stress. Now, as you see here, we always place our primary stress on the first part or element of this compound nouns. Clear. Now, also for the case of uh, the structure of gerund plus noun, the same thing. We stress always the first part. I mean the gerund. For example, uh, we have the word uh, driver license, so we stress driving, primary stress, clear. And the other one takes secondary. Walking stick, we stress walking, the gerund, first part. Uh, washing machine, also we stress the first part, which is uh, washing. So as you see here, always in compound nouns, noun plus noun, or noun, or gerund plus noun, we stress the first element and the first part in these compound nouns right and even if also in some cases when we have hyphenated compounds that consist of three parts clear three parts and they contain in the middle a short word for example like mother-in-law and free for all so here also we apply the same rule to them and we stress always the first element and part of these okay compounds it means i stress mother in mother-in-law and the free in free for all clear for all right so as you see here in all these uh, compound nouns we stress the first part and element but as you know most rules have exceptions and so this rule has Okay, it means we have here uh, three exceptions, mainly, we can mention, in which 
the compound nouns receive stress on their second okay, part or element. I have headmaster, so here it is our first exception. So here I should what? Stress master, not head, because it is an exception. Right. I have also weekend. Weekend. I stress and second part, not weak. Right. Also I have mankind. Mankind. So I stress second element here also, which is kind and not the first one. Because these three represent okay the exceptions for this rule. Clear for this rule. Also we have another remark to, to raise about these compound nouns, especially uh, a set of compound nouns uh, which may occur also in the form of noun phrases. Clear? Noun phrases. Some compound nouns may occur, may happen, okay, may come in the form of noun phrases. So, these compound nouns, uh, when they come in the form or as a compound noun, we stick to the main rule and we stress them right on the first part like for example uh, blackboard blackboard as one word okay the board used in school okay uh, for writing it's one word one compound compound sorry now we always stress the first part clear which is black but if i have the phrase a blackboard it means any board which is black clear a blackboard here i have noun phrase which is not a compound noun so here i stress the second word which is bold be careful clear also for the word or a compound noun black bird black bird here refers to particular uh, european bird which okay uh, has certain uh, shape and form so when it is used like here right as a compound uh, now, word together, right. Here we stress the first part. But if you use it as a noun phrase, it means a black bird, any bird which is black, here I stress the second element. The same thing for greenhouse as one word, as you see here, one compound noun, stress the first, but a greenhouse, any house which is green, noun phrase. I stress house, not green. The same thing also for a walking stick as a compound word and the noun, gerund plus noun. We here also we stress the first one because it's a compound word. But what it is a uh, uh, noun phrase like walking people, walking people, uh, walking is adjective and people is a noun, right? Here walking is present participle. So here, in this case, I stress people, second word, clear. Also, hot dog, hot dog, that uh, food which looks like uh, sausage, clear. As one word, it's a compound noun. I stress hot, first element. But if I use it as a phrase like uh, a hot dog, it means a hot dog which is fierce, which is angry, furious, savage, okay. And so on here, I stress in this noun phrase, Dog, second word. Also the same for what suit, what suit. So here as one word, one compound noun, uh, it refers to that particular uh, suit for swimming, right? Uh, outfit or uh, if you can say uniform for swimming, clear, uh, suit for swimming. But if I refer to uh, it as a noun phrase, it means what suit, what suit, it means uh, any suit which is what, uh, touched by water or by rain, here as a noun phrase, I must stress the second part. Also for the word of yellow jacket, yellow jacket as one word represents that insect, clear, which looks like a bee, right, like a bee, yellow jacket as one word, as a compound noun, I stress the first element. But if I refer to it as a noun phrase and I say a yellow jacket, it means any jacket which is yellow in color, here I stress second element jacket. Also for loudspeaker, as one word, one compound word and the noun, uh, I stress the first element. Without, but if I refer to it as a noun phrase, uh, loudspeaker, an orator, 
who gives a speech a person any person here I stress okay speaker not the first one because it's now a phrase here clear and also the same case for uh, black uh, board we said okay one word it is <coughs> noun uh, compound noun so the first element but a black board any board which is black here we stress second one so be careful when we deal with these uh, uh, combinations of nouns as compound words we apply the rule but in case they are used as noun phrases clear we stress second one clear go now the second major case in which uh, the compound word receives also uh, stress on the first part and on the first element when the compound word right ends with uh, a verb at the end it means its second part is a verb huh? and all the compound word okay acts as a single verb here i refer to case one with for example we have a noun plus verb and the whole compound word huh, acts as a single verb for example like uh, how sit huh? to how sit right so here i stress house house is noun and it is a verb and all of this compound word acts as a verb clear and ends with a uh, single verb also we have waterproof means waterproof <coughs> resist uh, water clear waterproof also i have a compound word which ends with a verb before it we have a noun so it acts as a verb and it receives stress on its, on its first element also uh, window shop to window shop i have the first part is noun plus second part is verb it acts as a verb so we stress it on the first element on the first element so these are briefly right uh, the two major cases right when we should uh, stress compound words on the first part or element i repeat the first case represents a compound noun it means noun plus noun or gerund plus noun here we stress always the first element usually clear second case when you have a <coughs> a compound verb which consists of noun plus verb okay here also we stress the first element which is the noun in this compound verb so thank you so much for attention and see you in our last and third part about the cases when we should stress the second element in compound words so be there and see you then thank you